Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be testing out my repeatability. I'm going to walk you through how I do that as I'm using Specto on my phone to, uh, to check everything and see how good I am at repeating my shots. So for those that don't know, Specto is a tracking system. When the bowling center has the little tracker installed down lane, you can download the app or have it on your phone or tablet or computer. And then you can check and see what your ball does on the lane. Specto will measure your speed, your revolutions, your uh, where, you're, where you're hitting at the arrows, your entry angle, all kinds of stuff, lots and lots of data. And then it'll tell you how good you are repeating shots, what you're doing shot to shot. And today I'm going to be using one of their evaluations, which is basically a 10 shot test where at the end, I'll get a report and Spectre will tell me how good I was at repeating my shots. So 10 shots, I'm not allowed to move, I'm not allowed to make changes. Just try to make the same shot over and over again. And Spectre will tell me how good I am at repeating my shots. So let's see what, what I can do. So the goal here isn't to throw 10 strikes, it's just to throw 10 shots as close together as humanly possible and uh, maybe they'll strike maybe they won't but transition is going to happen so my ball reaction is going to change and uh, i just need to throw 10 shots as close together as i can oh so even though that one struck, that was obviously further right. So that's a miss. Spectro's gonna tell me that when I get my report at the end. That's probably pretty close to, to the last one. All right, that was a little closer to the first shot, I think. I think those were pretty close. As you can tell, my ball reaction isn't something that I would really strike with, but just trying to make the right shots here. Obviously, if I was balling a normal game here, I would move further left, maybe throw a little bit harder, but I can't move. That would mess up my results here. That one seemed a little firm compared to the others. So that's probably gonna show in the report at the end. Yeah, and that, that one definitely was a little firm. I can con confirm that. That one felt like a pretty good shot. A little more up the back of it than a couple of the others, but that's still pretty close. Felt a little firm again, but still in that area. Overall, I would probably say that this wasn't the 10 greatest shots I could throw. There was, I would say six, probably like six good ones, a couple not very good ones, and then a couple ones that were kind of, eh, okay. So let's see what the report says and if I'm actually a good bowler or not. <laughs> So the results are in and I got my report here and it actually didn't look as bad as I thought it would. Not as good as I want it to be, but at the same time, I'm a little rusty, so not too unexpected. What I can see from the results here is uh, did fairly good on my accuracy ranges, could be a little bit better. My speed wasn't very good as you can tell, but looking over my shots here, I had one shot that was, that was really slow and then couple shots that were a little firmer and Spectro measures uh, from top to bottom so to speak so it doesn't take into account how good you are repeating from shot to shot so if you have one really bad shot and nine really good shots it'll give you a pretty wide range so as I said I felt like I had a couple of bad shots in there probably six or seven pretty decent ones and that's kind of what I'm seeing here too. Everything is fairly consistent. It just needs to be a, bit, a little bit better. And then I need to eliminate that one or two shots that's not great with my speed. So not awful, 
uh, not where I want to be, but it's a good little checkpoint, so to speak, to um, to get this uh, little Spectro ranking session and see how how everything is, how good I am at uh, repeating my shots at this moment, and it looks it looks okay. With this, I don't think I'm gonna ball an absolutely awful result if I try balling some games, but at the same time, I'm probably not gonna win my next tournament if I don't ball any better than this. Something to work on, and uh, yeah, so I'll get back to work. You can uh, watch some more videos if you'd like, or you can go try out Spectro for yourself, or just go ball and practice. Uh, bowling's fun, so yeah, go uh, go have fun, watch some more videos, and please subscribe if you like this video. I'll be making more uh, soon, so um, thanks for watching.